Chemonges, Roni, Chemos, Abigail, Chemutai Charity, Chemutai Jabet, Derry, James, Emmanuel, positive attitude towards work as, as well as keeping morally upright. Do not despise work. Take up any work opportunity that presents itself before you. 
However, hum however humble, do not despise small beginnings that can enable you to acquire experience and valuable skills. This will enable you widen your knowledge in the area of your speciality, make you relevant and marketable, not only domestically, but globally. The government of Uganda is working hard to attract local and foreign investment in all sectors of the economy with the aim of creating enough jobs for the population. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I would like to inform all the graduates that graduation day marks the end of one journey and the beginning of yet another important journey in your life. You will therefore need to remember that your behavior and conduct in terms of integrity, honesty, and hard work are key drivers in your success in this world. The university has prepared you very well and we ask you to become good ambassadors and role models in your communities. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I urge today's graduates to refrain from reckless and dangerous lifestyles such as drunkenness, sexual promiscuity, extravagant spending, etc. The government and your parents have made endless sacrifices to educate you. It will be great indiscipline if you waste away your lives in trivialities after such sacrifices have been made to make you a better citizen of your country. The Bible in Luke chapter 12 verse 48 says, To whom much visited this university twice, uh, mainly to assess the prototypes which they have. Uh, previously, they were just developing prototypes, either the students at the various levels, then another lot of students comes in and they leave it there. But I, I have come here and we are now working with the university to prioritize which ones are good. And uh, we have already found some, like uh, the one of, they talked about with the solar, the day and night solar dryer. We have given funding for that, so that we can multiply it for uh, the parish development model to enable communities that are producing uh, products to be able to process their products. So we are going to continue to work with the university and also now that we have a technical team which is going to be assessing, we are going to evaluate all these prototypes so that we pick those which are ready to go to the market and then we can support them uh, to develop them. This is one of the most prolific universities in research. The challenge they were facing is that they had no way of taking these products from uh, research to the market. In terms of science, technology and innovation, as you saw, the system is still a young university, which has been here, this is the 12th graduation. Uh, it is also a unique university in that it is the only deliberately multi-campus uh, university because unlike other universities, this university was created by converting pre-existing technical institutes. Uh, this university has already had the impact because of uh, the large number of people, the literacy that they have created, and also the mobilization of the community to participate. Uh, it has a very unique uh, setup of courses, as you have seen. They have from um, access, what they call access programs. Those are programs that help people who did not qualify to go to university directly, but they are now able to come in take some time, uh, they learn the things that they missed, and then they do a, a certificate, then they are able to join diploma and degree programs. But they have also worked with technologies, uh, especially with the rice growing, also with granite uh, technology. They also have uh, one of the few, if not the only one, textile engineering school here. Uh, as we are trying to rebuild our textile industry, we are counting on this university to train for us the people.